Ah, I can't. You know one that Linda. I hope she's she will be here soon now. She's the one that said there's one that I bought from Zappy concert. She said you always wearing every day. You do you love it too much. If I try all that ones, the moment after two days, my body will be doing me as if I'm not complete. I go and wear that earring again. Ah, because the money I used in buying it from Zappy concert. Oh poor. Ah, <laughs> you understand? It's too much. So I have to I have to wear it very well. I, I don't know how else I can wear it. <laughs> I have to wear it well, 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 well. And I love it. Ah, <clears throat> I love it. The one I use for housewarming ceremony, people saw it. Ah, Zafi, she sells gold, 18 karat gold. She sells the, uh, the one they call a uh, uh, craftsman. That one too, they do it in Italy. Yeah, so I explaining it uh, on, on, a, on a platform. I don't know all the Oyibo she used, but you know, what you do, you will know the terminology. She sells 18 karat gold. She sells the second one. She sells Brazilian. She sells everything. Ah, Zafi. <laughs> I lie. I never see. When they say, she's supposed to say Zafi gold. I don't know why she's bearing Zafi concept. Anyway, any Oyibo will anybody like. Na, na brand. Ah, Zafi in Tago Dejo. And you know, she knows what I like when I knock it. My spirit is always sweet in me because my spirit like gold. If not that, eh, people will be wondering why. I, I, like, I, I like gold though. That's, I'm supposed to name myself Kudiowo Gold. Uh -uh. <laughs> Kudiowo Gold, I'm telling you. That should be my nickname. Uh -uh. <clears throat> I love gold though. Ah, uh -huh. <clears throat> love gold. Ekalema. Ah, Ekalema. Eh, Aduni Shola Adeba. Ah, good day. I was thinking it's mommy Aluko. When I saw the name, I just thought it was mommy. I saw A. I thought it was. So let me greet you people. We are not. Why are we not? You know, why are you people not sharing? Why are you people not share? You carry your number one. You carry your one call. Yes. Okay. These evil people. Uh, sorry, you know, the thing is that Yubo people is number one today. <laughs> I don't know why Yubo people, when they marry we Yoruba people, they don't, they don't keep, they, they don't even like marrying us. Yubo people, I don't understand. Even all the business in Nigeria, only you people, you circulate. If you go to Alaba Market now in Lagos State, Yubo people are like courtism there. Everything they are the ones selling it. Igbo people in Nigeria, they are like Chinese people. They can they like business. They will tell you this one is Turkey, this one is Gambia, this one is a uh, uh, Korea, this one is India, this one is Egyptian. Everything they will be telling you different different uh, Sakama Genio uh, Igbo people. <laughs> hmm. What they are in they are their brain, their brain, Igbo people. What they are doing to us in that Nigeria, if we don't quickly wake up, they will carry all of us and sell us and collect the change on Lori or what? Igbo people. If you go to Alaba, go everywhere in Lagos State, yo. Meanwhile, they not born you will make you buy. Igbo people don't sell their land though. Can't you see that all this uh, uh, Sambisa forest bandits Igbo boy? It's only in Yoruba land that is happening because all the our Yoruba people money le le niwo they will sell land for Ausa. Igbo people will not sell land for you in their land. <laughs> go to Aba, Kilki, go to Aba. It's only Igbo people that own their land. Their, their brain is computerized. It's thinking fast ahead of time. <laughs> they, they don't like marinos. Look at our king. Sorry, Omi, I like that king. Go. Sorry, because you are number one, don't be angry with me. It's just that when I see any tribe, I just go there. What I know about you people, I will kill you. Daily, daily, I will praise you people. So don't be, uh, don't be uh, angry. Eh? So what? So what? Somebody say Kudi means was Kudi means ego in Igbo now. What? What are you writing? Kudi already means money. Eh? But Kudi means ego in Igbo because it's number one is Igbo person. Refresh, level up. And enjoy. Person. 
So I want to go there. Their own is not about willy willy. Their own is that they only know themselves. Evil people. They will be ah, they only know themselves. Hey, evil people. Evil people. They are they are supposed to be doing courtesy. Because in Alaba markets, Alaba markets, hey, go there now. Ask Chinedu. How much is this in Chinedu? If Chinedu tell you two naira, hmm? <laughs> and you go to send another person to Chinedu tomorrow. And Chinedu, the, the other person that will come to Naira, Chinedu will tell them to Naira. If I now send somebody in the market like Chuku, Chukudi, Chukudi will get it for one Naira. Ah, Igbo people. If you see Igbo people and you don't know, you are, you are on your own. They are. They will sell it to Chukudi and they will let Chukudi know that this one, no, we are sending it to Yoruba and Asa people. It's not a. It's, Yoruba is thinking that they are buying a Saudi or maybe a, let's say original now. They are buying Egyptian table. Uh, but they will tell Chukudi that it's China. Chukudi will know. And when Chukudi, Chukudi will say, ah, this two naira that you want to get this thing from uh, Chinedu. Oh, I beg, 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 beg. Chinedu didn't agree. Even it's because of me. That's why Chinedu is giving you for two naira. It's a lie. Yo. They know they are all doing you for one night. Oh. Who is saying you lie, I beg, could you? Who is saying you lie? Who is saying you lie? Who is saying you lie? You lie, I beg. Oh. You oh oh eh um one para let me let me pin you down. Um one para Ngozi Gloria. I'm sure you are not you are based in Onisha or you are based in Aba. You don't know how Igbo people are very smart. Please don't come and let me don't come and let me talk too much now. Are you please? No, Chidira, Chidira, it's not abuse you people. When Igbo people is they are dating Yoruba people. They will shop us, shop our breasts, shop everything. They will chop you finish. After they chop you, they dump you. They will still go and marry Ngozi or the, or Ada. Uh, don't go and give your body to Igbo people. <laughs> Yoruba people. Don't go and give. They know they are, they are very tribalistic. Igbo people. They will chop you, chop you, chop your yarn, shop everything finish. But it's not as if they won't spend for you. They will give you money, but they won't marry you. If they marry you, uh, uh, they are elders. The elders in the house, they will say, Idi, Idi, Beribe, Idi, Idi, uh, well, I don't know what they call Yoruba people in Igbo land. As if they went to marry Onuku. As if they went to marry outcasts. Uh, don't go and marry. Well, go, don't go and do intertry by anything with Igbo people. Igbo people. <laughs> I don't want to. Because JJ Naya and Sida Naya number one person will come on chat today na Igbo. So I can't say make I go Igbo land. Just say welcome all of us. Igbo. Igbo. They have done me. They are using style. They want to take out my Lagos state from us. But if they born anybody will go to Igbo land, you can't see them. They don't send their land to us. I get now. They build beautiful, beautiful. They take Lagos as land for uh, struggle. As we come abroad, come struggle. That's how they take it. But Onisha, Abba, if Abba, Onisha, if you go there, he eh? very industrious. Yoruba, Yoruba, eh? That's how they go. Our leg like, like this for there. They not even allow us get us. Have you ever heard where Yoruba, Yoruba dominate anywhere in Igbo land? But Igbo people, if you go to many places in Lagos State, the Igbo people get her. They have taken our state from us, Yoruba land from us, Igbo. They know business too much. Oh, they knew. Uh-uh. They say I should be coming down. Uh-uh. We will marry one of your daughters. Uh, which one of my daughter? Uh, me, I know you people. I know you people who not just go chop Yoruba people, go back to go and marry Ada, marry Choma, marry Nkiu.
Kiruka, Marie, eh, Ijoma, Marungozi, hmm. Marie Ju, Marie, you know, no go Marie. I, I can imagine. Let's say now, Nandi, where's Kudi? Have you ever seen any wedding like that in Nigeria? Nandi, where's Kudi? <laughs> you go, you will just see both people say, Oh, Diego, eh, Chelego, do be happy, 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 happy. So, Okay, okay na, okay mean it. you don't mean it, eh? Oh Diego, so nwa eh mama lagba jabi mama eh shinedu eh so open your eye down the picking go marry wait till now they call us for your side tell us tell us you sell us we we call you people jekuta ma mummy wait till you now they call us tell them nwa takiri yoruba nwa 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 takiri yoruba. Eh, uh, think I don't know. We know you people. <laughs> oh, fair man. Mazi, I won't take it in committee. Oh, what's so fair man? What's so fair man? Tell me, Jare, your bad people don't mind them. Let us not spare them. <laughs> No, Igbo people. Ah, they like money. You know that time. Me, I don't want to say this thing. When we were growing up, those is a good thing. In the beginning of all this, in the ritual, in the ritual, or something. Now, Igbo film. Ibo people na in Yoruba go lend their film. You just see Idibia. They go turn, make person turn money. Now there na Yoruba people know they, they are lending. It's the Ibo people that started the film where they, they take uh, your soup is oil. Your soup is oil. Your soup is oil. I, I not get her. The, your soup is oil. What do you mean? What do you mean, Ngazi? What do you mean that our soup is so, so our soup not sweet? Now why on another they marry her? They won't even allow you rent store in that. Thank you. Ah, the royal. Ah, <laughs> welcome the royal. So the royal, you get reason when you they come out. Iche, Iche, welcome the royal. Iche, welcome the royal. So the royal, you will wait be say you don't go let go before. We they look for you. I won't say they don't come take you. Bandit don't carry you go Sambisa. So wait till come bring you come out now. You hear? They won't even allow you rent store in their place. I'm not lying. Ah, Igbo people, fear them. All those our alaba eko do mota go there like this. Yaba tejo show. You know it's. I don't want to shift. It remind me of that story of a uh, a uh, a uh, ritual. I'm coming. I'm coming. When you are Igbo people, they won't they they eh Igbo Igbo they act like all these Asians, you know these Asians that are in London now, that uh, or even Chinese, they will bring they will open chemists. Now Igbo people they do all those fake uh, paracetamol fencing before now that come. Eh? You will take fencing twenty. You you won't wear this chalk that is inside. Igbo Igbo people. Ibo kwenu, hey, kwenzwenu, hey. Ibo people will come with chemists. They will have chemists in Lagos. I don't know if they have it in Ibo land. Oh. They will bring. They will have in the chemists. They will have brought. You know, as outside they bring boys from outside land. They will bring their boys to come and learn trade. Before they will settle the boy. The boy go do do freedom. Oh. But before the boy go. They will bring the boy, they will teach them how to be selling fake, fake, fancy, fake medicine. All those antibiotics that made many Yoruba people teach to, to, to red. You see, it's not that they mean to kill us, so I'm not using it to lie. 
I'm telling you, Igbo people, they, they can do anything for money. Ah, Igbo, Igbo, I fear you. Let me go to the ritual aspect. Ah, that time, when you, uh, you Join and play with Mr. Green and get 50 free spins on Lucky Mr. Green. Play for the moment with Mr. Green. When Yoruba, uh, Yoruba people, they are learning. Uh, what do they know? Uh, they only do the la 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 talk and yeah. When all this is a good day, I didn't say you go did ritual. I didn't say did ritual, but we heard the did ritual. You people know the truth. When that time, people could just, they, you will see both people, they will do, they will say that they did ritual. Ah, then they will come and they will come and say that they want to date Yoruba. I will not be thinking in our head. Why is it that you are not dating your Igbo people as ritualists? It's Yoruba you will be dating as ritualists. When you are a ritualist, then when you want to marry, you will go and marry. They say that, I don't know. I don't know. They say that when they come and date Yoruba like that, they use us for ritual. Go and ask. Me, yeah, I don't know. Go and ask the question. <sighs> Ibo. Ibo. All their film, you just see DBI, 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 this one. You have to, you have to be very careful. You have to be sure when they come like that to come and toast. That's why when I was growing, I really like Igbo people too well. When I, I have Igbo people, I know them. Our neighbor in, you know one day I was greeting our neighbor here now. Our, we had neighbor people that, I like Igbo because Igbo keep to their wife. They don't do polygamy. Do you understand? But these ones that are formal now and the ritual, they do, they do ritual. And, 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 and they, they have gay friends too. But they will use Yoruba, use us, suck our breasts, our nyash, and they will leave us and go and marry. Ibo. You get what and see that time. What did he choose? That marry Ibo. That marry Ibo. Ah, that auntie, people pity her. She now had twins for this rich Ibo man in Adeni Jones. Uh, people told her that they won't allow her to enjoy this man. No. Because the reason is that if you are rich in Ibo land, you now can't get the money. You know, still can't take and marry your Ibo people. They will keep you miserable. This auntie say, now nah, mouth did they take to her. Hey, she was doing shakara because she, the husband has house in Adeni Jones in Ikeja. She was thinking that my my people, my people, ask me what happened to her. Just ask me. This auntie had shop on Allen. She was doing so well. You know, her husband get money. Even that time, we didn't know that they said the husband did ritual. It's an evil man. As later, the man can't die. Who? Who? I'm telling you. They kept her inside the house with the Igbo, with the dead body. They, they scrape her head. They say she's the one that killed the man. Ah, because she's Yoruba. Ah, Igbo, I fear you people. I fear you people. What you people, you people had the 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 Igbo man's sibling, all of them, they who, they when she when she came to the village, they all stood ah that auntie. By the time she came back to Lagos, we asked her what happened. Did did, did she go and do farming in in the village in Igbo land? Uh, they told she not they not told us you know people with the family she they said that. Uh, they kept her inside one room with with dead body. Ah, I've, I can't believe it too. They said go oh, in with dead body. Ah, making you feel bad. Uh, uh, Emmanuel, why are you crying? When I was, when, when I was talking about a uh, uh, quite bomb people yesterday, why aren't you here laughing? Why are you crying? You don't know the day I will bring if it's a Jebuna. When I will bring their story, why are you crying? What's the cross of your cry? It's not, is it not true that you people don't like marrying Yoruba people? 
I will say, even out of it, people don't even want those ones. La, 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 la. Even I will say, fear you people. Eh? Can't you see that the, the regime now in Nigeria? I will say, I prefer to give you Ruba than to give you Bo. Because, eh? If you are not strong, you can't deal with Igbo people. You can eh? If you Igbo people even prefer Yoruba than to deal. If Hausa put their willy willy on the ground, they will cut it. Igbo will cut it off and go. Igbo. Oh, or daju or more clear you want? What? Ah, or daju you want? Ah, or dad you knew one? Ibo. <laughs> you, Ibo, 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 Ibo. Anytime they are ready for war, if not for the fact that they are not yet. Can't you see they are the only one fighting for Biafra since we are being in Nigeria? And we are saying, okay, let's forget it. Even I, hey, the ETC Yoruba people went to do Yoruba Nation. Where they did now, they no last. But since the time, you, Ibo, if they say they, they died there. Don't don't carry your don't let your don't carry your family to go and meet Ibo if you are not Ibo. They will, you will, they will deal with you. That auntie came back to Lagos State with Bori Makpa. They now told her that she's the one that kid. That if not this, I think uh, it's it's a normal thing in Ibo land that when your husband dies, you have to. Eh, I think you have to mourn with black clothes and they will shave your hair off or something like that. You people remind me, but they usually do the same people for, especially if the man, okay, but they usually do same to people from their tribe, especially if the man is rich. Okay, okay. Eh, this is your face. Okay. Eh, drink water, please. Why are you telling me to drink it? Because I, you, you Tessie, you that you are telling me to drink it, are you not for me, Sha? Are you not for Misha? Isha, Isha men, they are very stingy. They are the ones that wear Shokototon Tirina. Do they take care of Wuma? Isha men, they are very lazy people. They can only do fine boy, no pimples. There are the, the, plenty of them in Holland, in London, and they lie for one night. You think I'm lying? Go and ask them now. Uh, you, you are saying I should drink water. Is of you to leave me with Igbo people because I saw Igbo people and I'm greeting them. Are you not Isha? Isha men are not good now. They don't know how to take care of women very well now. Uh -oh. I think I don't know. It's normal with Igbo now, but Igbo or Yoruba... Uh, ne, ne, what are you saying? You have come again with Willy Willy. I think now, now what you meant by... I didn't know what you meant by Willy Willy. What again? Don't know. We don't know what I mean by Willy. What do you mean? No, I'm saying, madam, two days, good evening. Okay. How are you, Marie Colo? What are you saying? You don't know. They say it's a, it's a book coming out soon. Willy Willy is a book coming out soon. If you go to Google, you will search for it. You will see it to come up. Eh, eh. Eh, I see. You see now. Good for you. Do me. See, Igbo person, they even support me here. I be where is this Adana Sanja from? You see, now good for you. I was talking Igbo matter. You went to put your mother, I should drink water. You see, mm -hmm. it's a fool, it limo. Hey, it's some people. It's a... uh -uh, this is fast. Please stop this. Go, please, Jare, which is fallacy. We know you people don't like marrying Yoruba. Go, please. King uh China do please do all poeba or see so I try um that kind of thing. I beg poeba. What do you mean I should I should stop discouraging people? Which people are you discouraging? That's how you people are. You people have been fighting Biafra since are you not strong in the arts? Yoruba fight and they 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 they, they, they halfway they don't even me not join now. What do you mean? Uh, what are you talking? You forget now Yoruba ba omo ba omo. Uh, Waiting this on the talk. You are forget now Yoruba ba omo ba omo. Jennifer speaking speak English. I don't understand what you are saying. It's traditional, especially if they if they suspected that the man died premature. That's why I'm saying that they said the woman killed her husband. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yoruba men don't know how to take care of their wives. Uh uh. Feel what you could. Did you marry Yoruba? Are you married to Yoruba? 
you are on your own no feel washuku es a fool <laughs> not all of them you, you, well, no you, 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 are you married to yoruba feel are you married to yoruba on which side are you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not on anybody's side. Yeah, yeah, please, who do we ask all these questions to send us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, could you? We know you know. <laughs> no, I don't know everything. No, now nah, my uncle married Yoruba. Um, the your uncle married Yoruba. Maybe it doesn't mean that when I say this one, it doesn't mean that it applies to everybody. Mm -mm. It's just a general understanding of majority statistically this is a problem inter try if you want to say where is yorubas that marry from outside the most they marry Igbo. they don't care anywhere just go Outside is yorubas even outsiders don't like marrying outsiders but they will still prefer to marry your Igbo. sorry outside um yoruba than to marry Igbo. Then Igbos, they are the most tribalistic people when it comes to marriage. I'm talking of marriage. Go and ask. Go and ask. Go and ask. Or go and check statistics. You will see. They are too... They are like that. Okay, hello everybody. It's, if they marry Yoruba, they will eventually use her for rich. <laughs> now you know. Okay, guys, let me let me greet you people first before I continue. And so I'm not going to stay too long today. I am very tired. Trust me. I am really very tired. I'm going to try and go to bed early. So I will just um, try as much as I can to see how I can talk to you people then go you carry on one call is number one uh she's the reason why i d drifted for a while i'm sure she's just like ah, ah what did i do i just greet her see her now she don't go there talk about evil people no don't worry darling it's just you know to we we'll have fun with it and talk some good things catherine Austin is number two alima belo ajayi number four rukabo temidayo number five gladys gladysin number six adevisi oshukaya number seven oluti messi ahtara number eight Tola Kaye Wu number nine eselsa anita osai diaye number Ten, um, Debbie Lami Awuda Sentina number. I've, it's been a while I've seen you. Number eleven, I think. Tony Ojo number twelve. Um, uh, Florence Mokeda number thirteen. Elizabeth Amadi number fourteen. Tibe Ashara number fifteen. Also, almost say one number sixteen. Now let's go to the. From the bottom, nene ukatu igbos get good men. I know, I know. As a matter of truth, you know me. I, I will tell you of my adventure because it's my past. <laughs> Nobody can hold me for my past. You know. When I was young, I thought I was going to marry an Igbo guy. Trust me. Maybe I've said it many times here. My best choice were Igbo. In my college days, Ibo. I like. In my secondary school days, my best friends were Ibos. I thought I was going to marry. But as a matter of fact, when I was in um, growing up, my mother actually says I I I, I know because of my complexion and the way I was among in the family, I was stubborn, heady, and everything. My mother will always say that I behave like Igbo people because it is believed that Igbo people are very heady and stubborn. And amongst my friends, you know, I I gelled well, I flowed well. I used to go to Enugu for midterm break. I used to go to Aba. Unsuka, I had my friends that my best friends, Winifred Umerua and uh, Ngozi is uh, Justina Eze's daughter. She's she's a lawyer now and the assistant, whatever, to the governor of uh, Imo State as at now, sitting governor right now. She was my best friend in secondary school. So I love Igbo people, no doubt, but I know the truth about them in some aspects. You understand? So the royal, you are here. I can see you. Where have you been? It's been a while. You and Iche. I've not seen Clement Zo too. Ika Zo. I haven't seen him. It's been a while. Okay. So guys, 
You saw what I titled, Igbo men knows how to take care of their women. That is if they are married to you. And if they have a girlfriend, I think they do as well. But, you know, I'm just saying that they don't marry Yoruba. If they do, rarely, maybe out of 10%, maybe 1%, that's when they marry Yoruba. You know, so the rest, they always go back to their country. I mean, their town, their land to marry their people. That's the gospel truth. They only chop Yoruba people and leave them, you know. So now... What do I, what am I saying is that, good evening. Ah, Sister Larry, what do you, Henry, it's been a bit. Welcome on board. Thank you so much. I have missed you all. Where have you been? Now, we are not so many here today. Iniata, how are you, darling? I don't know why, but it's okay. Sometimes it's like that. And especially because it's a sad Friday, it's so strange. So, but what it is, is that I just wanted to talk a bit on depression. Um, I, 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 I know that um, there, was a, there was a video that was sent to me about a lady. I think she's a speaker on social media and... Um, and I was really very concerned for her. And um, I haven't followed it up, but I think um, from the little I was able to see, I saw her crying, it was like a 15 minutes video, but because she was wearing like, like a swimming trunk in the, in the bathtub, I'm not going to share that video. Um, I think she's a, she's a speaker on Facebook. She, she talks on Facebook. She talks on anything, you know, so, um, and that drew my attention to what I think, um, I need to say, I, my heart reached out to her. I pray whatever, um, because she titled it in a manner that calls for concern. You know, when you title stuff that calls for concern, people that care about you or people that don't care about you, everybody will come. There's a video I saw on the on WhatsApp just a few days ago and they were about to deport a woman. Okay, you know her. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I know her. It's not like I do. I think there was a time some people wanted to, were, they were trying to insult her on my platform and I told them to stop. I don't know her like too well, but... There was one day I saw her celebrating her daughter. If I'm if if I'm correct, I will do advert, Sister Wande. Thank you. I will do advert. Let me do the advert. Thank you so much, Sister Wande. I actually forgot. And now, so thank you so much, Sister Wande. God bless you. I sincerely forgot. Okay, so now this is K Money signatures. These are all customized caftans for K Money signatures. This is all stoned. Look at it. It is all stoned. It is all stoned. Back and forth. Back and front. Do you see it? It is all stoned. Back and front. Do you see it? It is all stoned. It's all customized for K Money signatures. And I'll show you. I wish you can see it to that. I don't know. I don't know how else I can display these things, you know. And so you can see the quality and the beauty of the beauty of K Money signatures. I don't know. It's not to boast. I'm proud of myself. My products, the quality of my materials, the stones that I have chosen to use, and making even all these things still affordable despite the exchange rate the rates going so gaga goo the economical instability you understand so yeah you see despite that i have refused to compromise whatever is came on his signatures do you understand so this is it it's all stones it's all these things you see is stones so and so let's look at what barbara is barbara is wearing exactly the same thing but in a deal, oh, I didn't put off this slide. Sorry. Now, Baba is wearing the same thing. And can you see? It's just that what I am wearing, I, I will do something that maybe you'll be able to see. If you can see, mine is blue. Can you see? Um, can you see? This is my leg. So mine is blue and Baba's is yellow. Can you see? 
so that you can see what is happening here can you see mine is blue but barbara is yellow mine is majorly blue whilst barbara is yellow yellow and um a bit of lemon like that same hand same blue so that you see these are the two colors i have i think i have another color but not too sure but i will check but you know so that you see it tomorrow is business time with you could so i probably i don't know if i'll display this again but just so you know that i have something like this and it's all for k money signatures thank you so much and cd cd They can't push you aside with this. Nobody can. Trust me. Nobody can push you aside with this. Now, and so that video was sent to me. In fact, the person that sent it to me wanted me to call the person. And I didn't want to because, you know, I don't want to be intruding in people's privacy. Fine. The fact that she brought it on the media, that's why I'm going to talk about it. Okay? And how am I going to talk about it? I'm going to say, every one of us, I love the blue one. Thank you so much. That's the one. It's because I'm wearing the blue one. If I wear the yellow, you will love the yellow. Trust me. You people are like that. I know all of you. <laughs> I know all of you people are like that. <laughs> it's because I'm wearing the blue one, sister Tola. Now, when the person sent it to me, they, she wanted me to call. She was deeply so worried for this person. I And she said, I, I, I can please call her and be able to help. Number one, I'm not in medical field. No. Number two, this can happen to anybody. Trust me. Number three, with the few times I've seen her, I have a feeling um, she may have a daughter, but even at that, you, are, you can still be lonely. Yeah, if you know her, please tag her. Maybe what I'm going to say today will help somebody. If you know her, kindly tag her, okay? If you know her, you know, I don't, I have never spoken to her before, but my heart is going to talk about it because what happened, what she, what, what I saw that day or what the video that was sent to me can happen to anybody. Do you understand? Sometimes some people call it meltdown. Why sometimes some people they are going through some things and they just need to cry. Every one of us undergo depression. Every one of us have been through or are, in dep or are, are depressed at one point or the other in our lives. But Trust me, it is for a reason. The one that is not for any reason, the one that is not for any reason is the one that probably needs serious attention. And sometimes those kind of ones can be the type that sometimes people start to feel suicidal or sometimes people start to feel ugly or sometimes people start to feel, have low self-esteem. Sometimes... People just start to withdraw from everybody. They just want to be indoors. Sometimes it can even be what can affect many things in your life. But most times, most times, depression in every one of us have a reason. Am I there? Or I'm just, you are still not getting me. It happens to it. We have at one point how we handle it differs. If you notice, while she was in the bathtub, I'm not. In, I'm not. You people know my profession, uh -huh. so I'm just in this. Uh, in this courtroom, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm an analyst, and I can. If you notice in in the in the bathtub, 
she was crying. She would pour water on her face. She would rinse her face. Then she would cry. She was crying. And she was, you know, and she said she, the title of the caption was she, something like she's not happy with her life or she, you know, the caption seemed like someone that is, God forbid, that is tired of life. And, you know, it's very scary. If it's, um, if she goes to the hospital or a psychiatrist or for counseling, they are, they'll quickly ask her that, are you feeling suicidal? Okay, somebody's saying, yeah, yeah, please talk about it and be emphatic, but please don't reach out. She's quite controversial. I don't want to allow for it. All right, thank you. Yeah, okay. Her name is Otobola. Okay, medical attention. Okay, all right, darling. Okay, darling. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. You should know I'm not too. I don't like going it. Mm -mm. I just keep to my platform. Vic, thank you so much for the advice. God bless you. You understand? Are you there? Okay, thank you for saying Joyce. <laughs> so, why I'm even talking about is if you know her, sometimes some of us, God forbid, yeah, maybe it could be. For anything, some people have immigration problem. And I wanted to talk about immigration. Yeah. There was a video, just as hers was circulating, that was sent to me. Somebody sent a video to me. Though they titled it, Nigerian man commits suicide in the airport. But when you look at the person that committed that suicide, it didn't to me look like a Nigerian person. But let's say it's Nigeria. And this is because the person said he would rather die in United Kingdom than to step his leg out and go back to his country. So the person committed suicide. That's a form of depression. A form of depression is you can melt down. You just feel your whole life crumbles. It could be for any reason. It could be for marital turbulence. It could be for job loss. It could be for weight gained, obesity. It could be for relationship. Um, um, it could be for friendship um, betrayal. It could be for postnatal childbirth, postnatal, you know, depression. It could be for anything. Do you know some people have give birth and... Yeah, yeah, she does not have immigration problem. I didn't say she has immigration problem. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, she does not have immigration problem. Olari, what do you, did I say that? Did I say she has immigration problem? No. Did I, please, did you people hear me say that she has immigration problem? I don't think, I don't understand why you said that. I didn't say that. I don't even know how to... Uh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm only saying that things, family conflicts too can cause depression. Yeah, family conflicts. Many things. Uh-huh. Vicky Tai with empathy to be precise because I think Yeye is putting herself in not so she's emphasizing with her by discussing the issues. Okay, she, please don't give Yeye this problem. She not ask of this. Well, I think what's it about the lady? I think you people have too many things. Who is she that you people are <laughs> you people are confusing me? <laughs> it could be for financial problems, you understand. So when I saw the video, I felt really sad, you know, because a lot of people will be concerned that, you know, hope is not that she's about to explode. I have seen cases, I have seen cases here where people had immigration issue and as I, a barrister who stands in the court to, for immigration law, 
was called suddenly about this our client. You know, understand? They called our, our barrister suddenly, and this is because the lady they refused her, and they have told us that she has been refused, and we need to like appeal. We needed to get some things together for her so that we can appeal on for doing the next sitting. So, due to the thought of she was refused, she had a meltdown. She, you know, sometimes some people, they, 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 they fake it, but it wasn't fake. In London that time, a lot of people fake, do for immigration reasons, they fake madness. Before they know it, they will start giving them, ah, Kemi, Kemi, that's my friend, that's my brother for me, Keja, Kemi, Federu, how are you, darling? How are you, my darling brother? How is everything? How are you, my darling brother? I, I, it could be for, you know, so they fake it, then people, they will start to give them injection, especially when they start to fake madness. Some of them eventually turn mad. So, where am I going to? People that know her should let her know that whatever problem one finds his or herself in life, whatever, whatever, trust me, this is how even me, I talk to myself. Because there are some times that you go through some things and frustration can make you want to go mad. It is still part of meltdown. You know, for somebody to come out, wear swimming trunk, go inside the bath shop, and feel that way, that way is real height of I am frustrated. I, am, I damn all consequences about how you people feel, who is there, who is looking at me. I am just down. Assuming she had, aside her daughter, whom I saw was trying to help her, even gave her medication. Maybe an adult compared to the daughter. Maybe they would have hugged her. Maybe they would have taken her phone off her. Maybe they would, you know, understand. She's not alone. A lot of, she's very controversial. She can come out for you tomorrow. It's better not to refer to her at all. Uh -uh. Really? No, but we are not talking bad about her. No. Maybe you people go and be insulting her. No. No. She, um, look, listening to what we are talking about is not coming out for me. I don't even care. But look, listening to what we are talking about, we are making reference to and we are empathetic about her. No. She's not mad. That lady you are saying is not a mad person. I looked at her for 15 good minutes, that video. She's not a mad person. So, if she then decides to come out for me and be insulting me over this chat, then I will conclude otherwise. But that lady that I saw, she's not mad. She needs attention. She needs people to care for her. She needs listening ears i don't know her, her issue i'm not interested in the issue she needs to be cared for she needs to be loved and whatever it is that is bothering her that made her cry that made her do what she did she needs to be heard i don't know what it is she probably did whatever she did just to gain get attention of particular people or particular person or particular things but all I see that moment is a, a, a being that broke down and is frustrated. And it can happen to any of you and me, anybody. And that is why we need to be talking to ourselves about things like this as women. Get help when you need it. It can happen to anybody. It's because she showed us. Trust me. And if she's still able to show us, it is not yet too bad. There's a comedian that was diagnosed, I think with dementia. I've forgotten this man's name now at this junction. There's a comedian that was diagnosed with dementia, a man, a white man. And when he got diagnosed with dementia, 
he was broken. He was depressed. He, he understands what dementia is and could not wait to see himself lose his memory completely. It comes, you know, dementia, when it starts, as we are told, it comes, some, you, it will come, you, it will go back. It will come, it will go back. Do you understand? That you will realize yourself, you may not realize yourself. Then after, it, you, one will just draw into that thing and that's it. You may never remember yourself again till one goes dies so this particular man when he was suffering that dementia he now thought of it that so there will be a point in time in my life and that's what this man olu jacobs is suffering right right now god god be with him for us am i making sense when they are told him in the beginning if he was a man like this white man the man took his life thank you through oh My father has it now. Kim, Kim, what does it? Okay, it goes back and forth. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm talking about. So, thank you so much, Kim. Kim. Oh, daddy has it. Don't worry. Do you see, most of the time, it's all part of signs of age. Funnily, it's not funny though. There was a woman I saw. The woman that got missing in Yaba, a psychiatric, uh, psychiatrist. Psychiatric, sorry, Yaba Psychiatric Home in Yaba, yeah, in Nigeria. Do you people watch that? Watch it. Uh -huh. That got missing, that the kids took to, the son took to go and register the woman. The woman, she was diagnosed with dementia and she's very young. That lady I saw can't be more than 40 something. If, 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 if that's if it's up to, but I want to believe it is. But she's a widow. Did you people see that video? <laughs> that man couldn't stand that, that thing. The Oyibo man, I've forgotten. She asked people to pray for her that she's loosely, she's loosely faith. She's losing her faith that I will, I will. No, that she's, she says she's not happy with her life. I saw that clip. Oh, his boys were looking for her. Yes, then they found her. Yes, the son saw crying. The son, but later found, yes. And they found her on the roadside and she has dementia. Young, beautiful lady. Young. Now, the lady, the, this, this Oyibo guy, knowing fully whether, got depressed, was depressed. A lot of people didn't know. And why am I sharing this with you people? Depression is not good. Every one of us, at one point or the other in our life, we get depressed. Trust me. Because not everything you want in life you get. Not everything you pursue in life you achieve. So many things you will lack. But rather than many of us looking at what we can achieve, what we've achieved, and be hopeful, leave it to God by faith. We will arrive there one day. We may never. It sets some of us into depression. And along the line, yeah, along the line, some terrible things happen to us. Okay, just in December, in December, I lost my younger sister. I will not lie to you people. My mother is 80. My mother. This person I lost is my half-sister. But God knows in my heart that the kind of love that I have to understand that I didn't even know that my family, they know that in the family, we are the closest. I must let you people know that I was depressed. I'm not, I was. Because when I wake up, I'm seeing her. You know, if it was in those days, in those days, they would have taken me to 
if I was born in the village, they would have taken me to maybe one native daughter. They would just be doing better for me, or I'd be what did they call it? A, a, a incision on my skin. Or if I was still going to all these churches that are fake, some of them are, are, are that are not saying anything. They will tell of them will even say that uh, the sister is a a what mommy what that spirit the spirit is calling you, that's why. I was depressed, I was down. I was crying to my daughter, ask my kids. All this traveling I've been doing is to get my mind renewed, to take my mind off my place of work. They know sometimes I switch. Her, her thoughts will just dominate me. It will be as if I am communicating with her. Because I love that girl so much. When I had a child, after my, before my life, that's, I had a child in 2000 and, um, when did I have Mustafa? I had. When did I have Mustafa? I had Mustafa uh, 14 years ago. That was 2007. Yes. 2007. Four weeks later, that boy died. Nothing was wrong with that boy. I was depressed. Trust me. Because that same year, I lost my father. Suddenly. The death of my father was still there in my head. Whilst I was pregnant of this, that same year, I lost my father in May. By September, I gave birth August, September, four weeks, exactly four weeks after I gave birth to him. And you know, a death that has no answer. Because they did postmortem, they did autopsy. They did what they could do to give me an answer. That was even it. I, they, they didn't have answer. They just told me it's natural death, natural cause, caught death. Hmm. He slept and didn't wake up. He slept and didn't wake up. That time, I would be like this. You know, if you don't have faith in God and you don't believe good times, bad times is from God. He can't be perfect all the time. May God help us so that the bad time will not be more. Let the good times be more. I left this country after two months I wasn't okay because that answer was not fulfilling. It wasn't so. It didn't suffice. It wasn't okay for me. How can somebody sleep and die? And not even somebody that is elderly. Even when somebody is elderly, you know, you will still be thinking, could it be spiritual? Eventually, I went to Nigeria. My husband was advised by my mom to send me home. My mom thought I should come home. When I got to Nigeria, my mother didn't allow me to go and stay in my matrimonial home. My mother made sure I stayed with her in Ikeja. In the morning, she would pray with me. She would be gisting me of different, different things. I would be laughing. One month passed. I would be talking. They... Oh, I stayed in Nigeria for almost three months. My mother then told my husband, oh, yeah, you should buy a return ticket. I should go back. The moment I landed back into Ireland, just entering the church, because the church, Redeemed Church was where I carried the pregnancy and I lost that child. When I entered the church like this, 
remembering that I was pregnant at one point here. I was the next time I'm supposed to be in the church. Something like heaviness just overwhelms me again. I start crying. I remembered again. I'm supposed to come into this place with thanksgiving, with a, by with dedication of a child, not empty. Even though I had others, you still don't want to lose a child. Do you understand? So, depression is real. It happens to everybody. It's those that say their own out. Sometimes, when I go to the hospital, you know, I'm not using it. It's not something good, though. Three consecutive times. Two years later, I lost another child, a girl. Two years later, I lost another child, a boy. This, the, 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 the two years one, after Mustafa, who was full-time baby, that one was six months old child. You understand? Six months old baby, um, baby died instantly. Then the other one, another child again, Adesonya, that one was named, but he was in the neonata. He didn't survive. Hey, it's Mick and the psychic here. <laughs> we hear of so many regular people who have personally seen or experienced a ghost or apparition. So we want to do a podcast episode with your experiences so we can see if there's themes or similarities between them. While sharing your experience, I... He didn't survive. He didn't survive. So what am I saying, guys? Those consecutive challenges and troubles of life knocked me. But I held on to faith. I held on to faith. I was... You don't want to know what depression is. You remember when I told you people that by the time, by the time, well, I, what I've gone through in life, what many people are going through in life, if they, if only our body can say it, this is what this person have gone through. You will know that a sane human being is definitely, you must have undergone, this person must have been depressed when I'm not a robot. Some have gone through worse sins. Things more than me. There was a woman that one day in London, I went to church and the woman came to the church. She was invited. She came from America. And she was talking about her life. She, her husband, who is a medical doctor, a redeemed church, a pastor of redeem. Her husband, who is a medical doctor, had twin children and one other child. That is three children. Twin, one, and a child. I think a boy. The twins were girls. And her husband. They were traveling from, I think, New Jersey to Maryland or anywhere. Shacha, they were traveling. And her husband was driving. And her husband was driving. Suddenly, suddenly, an accident occurred. When the accident occurred, my people, till tomorrow, as she so said, when by the time they, she, she was looking at the police and the ambulance they were, that, that, were, that were trying to resuscitate her, she heard the voice of her children but she didn't, she couldn't even stand up from the stretcher they placed her. But the question she kept asking, how did she even come out from that place? They were asking her who brought her to the edge. But her husband, her children, all of them died. Her husband, her children, 
all of them died. Hmm. When this woman was talking about herself, I looked at myself. I said, Father, I am not saying what she went through is I can't oh, I'm not I can't I'm not saying what I went through is little. It is big. But God ah strengthened this woman. And she was using her story to encourage us. She said she was hearing that for years the cries of her children and they couldn't help them. The car was born. He burnt pasha pasha in Iluo Ibo. You know when they said the dish, the, she explained it herself. She said the dish. They couldn't, the car was burning. She was hearing the, she didn't even hear her husband at all. And that before the accident, all she could remember was that maybe she took a quick nap. She doesn't know if her husband too slept off, but she said her husband's, her hand was on her husband's lap. Maybe caressing the hand, the lap or something. She said, but she remembered that maybe she took a quick nap. The next thing she saw was that fire explosion and she, she they met her at the edge. How did she come out? Did she, till tomorrow. There's nobody to explain to her. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Why am I saying this? God forbid. That woman, some people have gone through same like her, even worse, or not up to. And they are in, there's a place we call St. James Hospital here. They started by taking medication for depression. I always tell people, if you need help, you need help. If you need help, counseling, you need it. If it's just prayers, like me, then they used to, I had this uh, man that was very nice that gave me a CD on healing. You know, you, a CD on healing. I needed to even forgive myself. You know what I kept blaming myself for? I kept blaming myself that assuming I was awake, I would have seen death when he came to take that to my son Mustafa. Because before he slept, he cried that night. The boy cried, oh shit, Jogbo. Since I gave birth to him, he, he cries. But that particular night, he cried to Anessa. And I had a little, the boy, the, my son that I gave, I had uh, him after. That one was only five months old when I got pregnant of him. So that one was just one year plus. So it was two babies. I slept bit in between two babies. That was the period of the period that I was alone here in this country. So it, 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 I was sleeping in between two babies. One is one year plus, and one is four weeks old. So I woke up. One was I was breathing. The other one had blood in his mouth. But before he slept, he was crying. I called the older sister to even come and help me hold him. Even all those things is not good for children. What am I saying? You need help. I moved out from that house sh shortly. Within two, one month, I couldn't sleep. It's depression. Eh, uh, eh. Uh, all that loss of child, everything killed my libido. I could, well, if I if I want to have sex, I'm afraid of pregnancy, and I wasn't doing preg uh, uh, family planning. All those things is depression. So everybody goes through depression. But the only thing that I 
want to say is that when you when you are you are having to now feel suicidal or to an extent that you have melts down like you become so frustrated in you know you cry it's good to cry it's very okay to cry trust me sometimes you you cry when my younger son, I cry. I hold on to my back. I cry, cry. I cry because I felt like I felt with loved ones that have gone before. Like, I, oh, I wish I had said, I wish I had stayed more with her. I wish there were things we didn't finish this. You know, you know, and that's how it is. You keep blaming yourself. But that's not the solution. The solution is get help. If it's something that is not going away, get help. If it's something that needs you to go to get medication, please do. If it's something that just needs you talking about it, please get help. If it's something that just needs you to move away from a particular environment, because sometimes change of environment also helps. Going on holiday helps. Talking to the right people helps. Talking to the right people helps. Getting love from people help. Sometimes rejection and not being loved, just like in marital turbulence. I know somebody that's related to me that works in this St. James. Sorry, I have to say that. That was telling me that man is bad. If I see our Nigerian women, and majority of them is regarding marital issue. The, some of them have even relocated from here now to London. The, the brain is being don't 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 wait till you 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 your the, your life. Your, the, your life, because if you don't get the help, sometimes you can't do it yourself. Having excessive anxiety and meltdown all the time is a sign of depression. And if you don't quickly get help, it can get worse. And when it gets worse, signs, things that you can use in notice that is weight gain. Majority of the time, you just keep eating. Why some is not eating at all? Weight loss. Drastic, drastic weight loss or drastic weight gain. And when that goes on, no, where I'm coming. And when that goes on, you need to address it. Aside that, unnecessary or necessarily, you keep just cry overly emotional. You just be crying. You just be crying. You will hate your life. You will hate people too. Unnecessarily aggressive. It's depression. Unnecessary aggression. Or I mean, you'll be so aggressive. It's chronic depression. Transferring aggression. And who they go in home? Who is not troubling you? It's also signs of depression is also signs of depression depression just make you feel useless and doesn't want you don't feel like doing anything these are just things i read and i'm able to and because of sometimes i've been there only that the truth of it is that it becomes depression you know medically clinically when it's your station in it or is affecting you badly you know your mood swing is sad 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 it becomes that clinical word depression but really many of us have got in fact everybody goes through depression at one point or the other in life 
It just depends on how strong God has made you. Because really, some people haven't gone through half of what you've been through. But you are still able to hang in there. Trying to like cope with life. Using everything to get your mind and your state of mind busy. Why some? They, I, they, there's, there's a friend I have in the, you know, I wouldn't disclose much, but you know, she's a colleague. You remember the pilot that was that flew one airline? I don't I can't remember that airline. As a matter of fact, he committed suicide with 100 and 200 and some passenger cab on 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 crew. I'll be on line, I'll be on fire on the yeah, crew. He committed suicide with passengers. Yeah, yeah, correct. Just not feel like doing anything when you just feel that the whole world you are just not feeling anything. Sometimes it happens. Don't think just having one off is that means you are depressed. No, sometimes you just feel tired of everything, but doesn't mean that you are depressed. But sometimes when you find out that you just you know you just feel it, it depends, symptoms va vary. Your own symptom may not be the same like others. So when that is happening to you, walking, walking up, waking up early morning and not able to go back to bed, losing the will to live. Exactly. I think that one is extreme because I think it has level. So the, the earlier you address it, the better. And the earlier you understand, if you are still able to know that, oh, I think I'm not my, no, no, you know, this is just not right. I think on board, yeah. The, I think this is not just right. I think I don't feel, and something is able to rectify it. Maybe going out with friends or traveling or talking to your partner or talking to, and sometimes, you know, kids are, may not really understand. Because when I was looking at the lady, I, I felt really, Oh, the little girl trying to be morning, morning. Thank you. Yeah, morning. <laughs> morning team. How are we? Yeah, good. Oh, the little girl trying to be little girl as well. Sometimes you need a more matured mind. So if you know her and you, you are someone that's very conversant with her, tell her to reach out to matured mind. If possible, go for counseling. And if not counseling, please talk to the right set of people. You understand that she probably may not have to come and let anybody know. Because I think it's because she didn't have somebody to talk to and she holds Facebook as a friend. You know, some people just take Facebook, everybody. They don't, they don't think of it that uh, millions are watching. No, they just take Facebook as, this is my friend. Facebook is my friend. But mind the millions are watching. So, so she needs somebody like that behind the camera than instead of coming to tell Facebook now. Because she takes people, she would rather just tell those people and call that person. And that's why cancelling, just for your privacy, cancelling is good. When, when, when Mustafa died, you know, the, the woman that came to talk to me, the woman that is in charge of when uh, kids die in, in Ireland, there were three. They wanted me to not join the group of, you know, just... They'll be calling you. They'll be talking with you. Sometimes you don't feel like talking to people. Do you understand? Because you, they don't know what you're going through. They don't know how you're feeling. They don't know, you know, they, they can't feel it the way you're feeling. I remember one woman that goes to Redeem Church then. I don't think she goes there anymore now. Met me when I lost Mustafa. And she told me, ah, ah, um, 
And you don't in the church, they call me Sister Dolapo. Ah, Sister Dolapo, ah, you don't pray. You don't pray very well. Ah, ah. She doesn't know me privately, you know? You know, because some of us, the way we look, some people just think that you don't pray. And some people think that when terrible things happen to you, that means that it's as a result of your sin or because God is angry with you. That's the mentality Christians have. I don't know about Muslims. Or you are, you are doing fashion too much. You are not concentrating on prayers. So when she told me that, yeah, I felt gu more guilty. And that's why you have to be careful when you are depressed or when you are undergoing anything, the kind of people you talk to. Because the kind of people you talk to and what they deposit in your, in your mind and your thoughts it goes there and it starts to play tricks on you. It can lead you to depression. It can worsen your case. It's like devil coming to rah, his ugly heads at you, telling you, mm. it, they wouldn't say it in that way, but they, are, they don't choose their words wisely. Do you understand? So when she said those things to me, I was down. I was bitter. Those words rang bell in my head for, for, for weeks. I was bitter. I was blaming myself for the death of my child. That is how badly. Some people don't know what to go. It's better you don't go and say anything. And that's why you heard me say, I, I prefer not to go and intrude in her privacy. Because... Your words have to be wise. So where am I going to? The ladies, the, the woman that came to me, elderly woman. There were three. One was younger, but and she told me her story. When she told me her story, not to make me feel mine is... Oh, that time, I didn't even know that kind of thing would happen to me subsequently. You understand? I, I felt, you know, it has happened. And, and she was telling me about her story, how she had a child that was autistic and another, and autistic with other challenges, um, physical challenges and everything. Anyway, the child died. Then she now had a child that graduated from the university, college, university. On the day of his graduation, they went out to drink. The only two children she has in here, one died younger age. Then on their way back, where they went to have fun, they had accident. Only the boy died. Oh, my happy to know the clips you paint actually is available on multiple different devices. I just love that it has everything that you might need as a digital artist. Be sure to check out Clips You Do Paint and give it a go. Ooh, my Ubabemi, it was bringing out, but yeah, ah, I was, huh. when you listen to people's story, it's not as if you would think your own is not important. Yours is, but you would start to pity other people. You will calm down and start to pity other people. Not because yours is not important. It is equally so painful. But you can't, you know, you can't keep telling yourself, you know, your bad, everything about your life is just terrible and everything. When you hear other people's story, you still have every reason to say, Father, I thank you. I know, I know, I know. This is not fair on me. This has happened. But God knows better. All the things that they were telling me then. Ah, it's like my dad that killed your child. It's like my, dad. my mother is a, one woman that will never tell you. My mother always say one thing. Anybody that kills somebody's child or destroy any life, you, 
don't die again. No. Nobody, whatever you sow, you must reap. Forget it. Don't ever think that if people do you wickedness, they are God's God for you. And he, you just watch. It's only that it's not fair on us if it is true that people kill other people. Do you understand? <laughs> if it is true that people kill other people yeah. or people destroy other people's life, you just leave them to God's hand and see God. God of vengeance act on your behalf. Somebody said, I know I'm depressed when I start to comfort it. I constantly feel like eating even when I'm not hungry. Exactly. 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 It happened to me. If you people, you people didn't notice, I gained a lot of weight lately. It was due to my sister's death. I was frustrated. Ah, I was frustrated. I was down. I, I, eat, I just eat. That's what she exactly. Her death. But I now say, you know, I now looked at my holiday that I can take at work. At my workplace, I don't hide anything. I made them understand I'm bereaved. It's affecting me. It affected me. At that time, I was even about to write exams. For this, my, my master degree. They were even going to give me more time to try and do something. But I tried to pull myself together. My husband said, don't worry. You do the, you can, you know, ask for more time. Then the next people that are graduating in September, you can do it with them. I said, no. Even though I'm always very hard on myself. Even though I'm always very hard on myself. Ma, how much is the dress and the wig, ma? Which dress? If it is this dress that I am wearing, it's 150 euro. But if it is the wig, if it is the wig, it's not me. It's Yeti wig. It's Yeti wig. It's Yeti wig. And I post to... All European countries, USA, Canada, Australia, that's all. No Africa, no Asia, no Arab countries. Yes, it's yet a week. Okay, yeah. Euros, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cut Clark. So, you see, uh, please, if you know her, please, please, uh, all you need to do for people is when you see such situation. Don't take it for granted, please. It's it's um, it's not um, it's a it's a sign that something is not right. That person is down. That person is broken. That person needs love. That person needs help. That person needs attention. That person needs to be talked to. That person needs to, you know, cry out. You know, express his, him herself to somebody that is in that line. And trust me, uh nobody okay my my brother is saying i love it i don't know what he says he loves is it the hair or the clothes i don't know what he's saying he loves can i get it in limerick sure get what in limerick gb limerick island uh -uh. island is the uh, where i where, where i live now I live in USA. You will get it there. It's just registered posted. It's first come, first serve, depending on your size, subject to available uh, size availability, and we pay, and uh, you pay for your postage. I post that twenty four hours only Sundays, no postage, and Saturdays half day. You understand? We don't post on Sundays. Only Saturdays is half day. By one o'clock, they are closed. Then Monday again. All right. So, guys, I, I, I really wish you people can, please. The dress, yes, yes, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? You can get it in um, Limerick. So, or US, anywhere, anywhere. So, me, I just play Topa Alabi song, Ayinka, Alashe Yori. Yeah, now so the worry go disappear. Exactly. It's understanding yourself. 
is understanding yourself. That's one thing. When you understand yourself and how you can cancel yourself or terror, like 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 personally, like personally, I I going to a professional may make may, may to me may make me feel I am too serious about everything because even when those people try to be keeping up with me to continue to have you know come let's go for outing together let's go they we want us to come and do when i did tom for my son they wanted us to be having yearly uh what do they call it katija catholic something you know nah even i don't know where they buried the boy i they know i don't know because you know our tradition don't permit and all the two i don't know they are the one but i did tomb for my for mustafa and this why i'm yet to do that tomb. you understand but what am i what am i saying is that at the end of it I, um uh, how you are able to help yourself is a decision that you have to know what you feel good in <laughs> somebody say when i'm depressed i go shopping that is how i you see we are all different that is me now after being attacked at court twice in a space of four weeks i work for energy up to up until now nothing has been done about it i am currently in therapy and prescribed medication for anxiety exactly exactly i know i'm depressed exactly exactly anxiety attack you know probably because you were attacked so you have anxiety and all those things. Definitely, you need to go on medication. If it's bad, it's maybe panic attacks. If it's really bad, they will have to give, put you on a um, uh, antidepressant. Yeah, try to do something you enjoy. Yeah, please, I need the two, ma. Which two? Adenik, who is he talking to? I, I don't know. Adenike, which two are you talking to me? Hey, I don't know who you are talking to now. True, they buried mine, but I don't know where cause of Niger tragedy, but I miss my baby every day. Oh, I understand. I understand. It is well with us. You understand? Sometimes it's okay. If I, if I take you to my room, do you know? Do you know? Mustafa's pictures are is always by the side of my bed. For years, just if you enter my room now, my side of the bed, just open the this thing like this, you see Mustafa. Then my the girl, I don't have anything of her because she was not she she died before was coming out, but she was not she she didn't have she didn't leave at all. So I was they didn't even I didn't even give her any name. So my other Sawyer, she, he lived for two weeks in new nata before 15 days yeah so he died so he was he i gave name and his hair i have beside my bed is um what do you people call it a uh, print thumb, thumb prints and i have beside my bed then is um his pictures of all the time he was in the new nata and when he gave up, I have everything beside my bed. Till tomorrow. And I don't know about some people. Some people, that probably will make them depressed. But for me, it comforts me. But sometimes, I feel, I may be wrong for some of you, I feel really like, oh, my baby. And I look at their pictures and I'm, and it helps my own. When I'm feeling down, heavy, I look at their pictures, I look at everything, I just think that one day when I I get old and I die, I will see them in heaven. That's my belief because they are sinless. Abby, uh, so I still remember Mustafa's story. You once narrated the story he passed away and how it happened. Very sad, yeah, exactly. Mustafa's story. Uh, you know, Mustafa was my carbon copy you know when somebody look so much like you you go, 
I gave birth to Musa. You people would see Farouk look like me. Uh, come on. When I gave birth to Mustafa, it was as if I was seeing myself. I could tell that this boy looks so much like me. You understand? He looks so much like me. Very much. If I show you his picture, I'll be like, is that you, Yeye Kudi? When you were a baby. No, that was my Mustafa. My hubby deleted everything I have of her. Oh, it took nine years to conceive her. It hurts like bad. Oh, the joy of the Lord. Ah, I miss my husband so much. Oh, ah, Pippa. Ah, the Lord is your strength. But I must say, but I didn't know you lost your husband. I understand all these things, you know. Be, being bereaved is, is, is another way of, another depressing thing. And, and I know that, you know, sometimes if you go and even look at the lady that we are talking about, it might be that she's bereaved. I don't know. I'm only guessing. You know, it might be that she's bereaved. And that's the way she handled it is how she can handle it. You understand? Being bereaved is not good. It's not a good thing. I can, I can feel your pains. It's not a good thing. Sometimes if you need to cry, just cry. Just be on your own. Cry. Sometimes I'm singing gospel song. Makom Akeni. I'm crying not because I'm still depressed, but I, I'm crying because I always think of it at all. How I wish the, the state. How I wish the state. But God knows better. I can't bring them back. The truth is that you are never able to truly move on after a loss. True. I have my own pictures. Just come to my room. Ah, I didn't know. She's a widow. Yes, yeah, she lost the father of that, her daughter. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, she lost the father of her daughter. Okay, the daughter that was helping her while she was in the bath. Okay. Ah, maybe it's one of the reasons she melts that day. Ah. Ah. Seek face-to-face -face support from people we can exactly. Lost my mom to that. I miss her every day. I still oh, so sorry for your loss. Sorry, Abiba. Oh, sorry, Temi. Abiba, Bakami. Amen. Oni Angie. Amen. Abiba, Bakari. Sorry. When you walk to build an empire and then you brought, you are brought so low, you feel depressed and sometimes cry. Somebody is writing something. I want to try and read it. When you think about it, say, you see people who don't even know you, how you assisted in growing the play, then come in and start receiving all the goodies and nothing comes to you. If you allow yourself to stay longer in such an event, definitely you'll be defeated. The Lord will heal all of us. Amen. I'm sure this person is talking from another place of heart. What can lead one into depression? You know, if you read what she has to say, she's talking, it's deep. She didn't disclose anything. But if you read it, you, you see that she's talking from another place of hurts and what can cause depression and why you need to leave that environment that is giving you depression. Do you understand? Change that environment if, if possible. ASAP. Do you understand? Whatever you are doing... And it's bringing depression on you. I remember when I was a Facebook fracas. That's why I detest anything about Facebook fracas. I det if if you bring it near me, the way I will take hates you. I don't. If you if you want me to hate you now, just join me with fracas issue. I will hate you. You know what hatred is? Hates. I don't like. Anything about fracas. I don't. It's depressing. It can lead you to depression. It can make you depressed. It can, you understand? It is depressing and it can make you depressed. Fracas. Don't get yourself in it. Don't be involved in it. Don't go near people that are in it. Don't have dealings and business with them. For your sanity. All those things too lead to depression. 
You understand? Yeah. See, yes, she lost her father. Lost the father of her daughter. Okay. Ah. Also, stay away from negative. Yes, my darling, you're correct. Those are even the number one set of people you must stay away from. Many things can lead you into depression. Simple friends, you know, relationship, marriage, people that are negative, people that are naysayers, all those things. People that see the ugly ugliness in you all the time. Do you know that people that are speakers now, some people will just come. Like I always tell you people, if you don't allow yourself, build your self-esteem and be confident in who you are and who God has created you to be, some people will just come and be depositing bad words into you and you it will automatically give you low self-esteem and it can lead you to depression sometimes you want to pursue your career some people are dream killers they will they are naysayers it can lead you to no, what well, there's nothing that cannot lead you to depression is staying depressed that is the sickness crying doesn't mean you are weak yes correct it's good to cry. It's even medicine. It's therapeutic. When you go for counseling, I believe, I'm not sure now, but for me, I know when I cry, something hurts me badly and I cry. I sleep. That's, can you close that? Uh, that's easy. My, my, my mind that is burdened. I just cry. I think it's okay. I think that's okay for me. Somebody saying, yeah, yeah, I am young widow with four lovely kids, three investing. Not easy at all. Wow. Four lovely children, three in ah. That's big. God threaten you. Oh. Ah. Crying is a sign of strength. True. Can't you see that? You see, if we did not do this kind of chat today, we, you will never know what everybody is doing. If you look at Abiba Badamasi on this platform, she's always here, either laughing, she'll come and greet. She knows my mother-in-law. She lives where my mother-in-law lives. She's always here. I never knew anything about her. She has her own, what she's going through. That's the, the thing. Do you want to tell me that won't have made her what happened to her didn't make her depressed. That's why I said, every one of us, at one point or the other, in our lifetime, have will and are or was had, had undergone depression, or is undergoing depression, or is in depress or is depressed. Staying in it and falling sick and having aftermath effect of it, affecting one's life drastically. Or slowly, like high blood pressure and diabetes, as they are silent killers, that's the same way depression is a silent killer. You need help. Either cry out, hug, cry, seek help, go for medical counseling, or get the medication. Oh, Abiba Ghania. Yeah, yeah, you are doing awesome with this topic. I have cried and laughed. Very educative. We should do more of this. I sure will. And you too sure will. You understand? It was, you know, when they brought the lady to me, I, I, I am really depressed. I feel I am being used. Oh. Sometimes it could be that you are being used by your husband or your friend or your relative. You understand? Your family. It could be by anybody that can lead you to depression but you need to you need to address it if not it affects your life it, it either stagnates you or withdraws you from your purpose or it 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 it, 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 it affects even your mental stability It's not good. I am I'm not condemning whoever is depressed because 
I've been in, I've, I've, you can see I've talked about my terrible experience. I'm not a robot. I will definitely, I was definitely, I all, I, I, I must break. I was broken. So I understand what depression is, but staying in, in there and realize, not realizing that, oh, this can lead to adverse situation in my life. It can affect me uh, me mentally, psychologically, emotionally, physically. So you get help. Talk to the right people. Or, like I said one time, I, I, I use gospel music. Because I, I love gospel music. I'm telling you, I love gospel music. Those gospel music that they will be singing, a uh, worship song. Um, healing, prayer of healing, healing, healing. Gradually, I got better. This topic is getting to me. It's waking up in a lot in me. I need to go cry. See you next time. Oh, Olu, what? If uh, Oluwa came, all right, darling. I'm also going off now. Depression is real, and Vivian Ban said, All right, darling, take it easy. Oluwa, if uh, Oluwa Kenny, God bless you. Vivian Ban says, Depression is real, and hope people can seek help immediately before it gets worse. Because I have been there and never want to anymore. Amen. You'll never go back into depression in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, yeah this is a very important topic, Jumiara. More of this topic. God bless you, Yeyetia. God bless you more, Jumiara. Love you, people. Mudukwe Akile Omo. Love you. Love you. Thank you, Ye. Um, my best music ever, Ye. Yes. Thank you, Ye. Great job you are doing, sis. Thank you, Ngozi Kele. I love you all. You people should all take it easy. Eh? And please, be strong for yourself. And if you are able to see or somebody that you can help, and you know this person is it, all you need to do is... I love you and go. The song is just hug. If you want to talk, I'm here. That's all. That's all. Sometimes you don't want to go and be uh, intruding in people's privacy. They probably don't want it. So, in moderation, and have them remember them in your prayers. I'm glad that you're Laura, you're always welcome. Linda Obani, Akin, you're day. Lots of love, yeah, yeah, lots of love. I love you all. I have to go. I need to quickly go to bed. I said I was going to just stay a bit, but I stayed almost two hours. Frying eggs at the same time is indeed a sign of... At this time is indeed a sign of... Uh, frying eggs. <laughs> so you're about to eat. Take it easy, just easy. Please... Please don't isolate yourself. Lola Day says, if you have the symptoms, speak to your doctor. If you have no one to talk to, exactly. It's important. It is dangerous. It's a silent killer. And please get help. That's all. Get help. Get help. Please get help. All right, darlings. You are the best, my. I love you. Yes, I love you. More Mola Taiwo. God bless you. Good night, Ola Ayo. Good night, Ola Mi Akitomi. And Asa, babes. Mwah. Thank you, darling. Hot Clark, please make sure you check on Eunice, okay? Check on her. Please check on Eunice. I'll try and check on the others, the ones I have their number tomorrow. I'll also do that for Eunice. Please check on all those that you are not seeing. Please ask, are they okay? Is everything fine with them? Okay, cut room light switching off in five, four, three, two, one.